Hi, I'm Dave Elsey, aka Mischief, and this is The Conspiracy Cupboard. Just uh, mind the title sequence on your way in. Yes, and welcome to the Conspiracy Cupboard. So today's episode is a special one for my UK viewers and for anyone all over the world who doesn't know about Bonfire Night. Okay, so yesterday was the 5th of November. Uh, this is why I'm recording this today. Uh, I just wanted to explain to you guys about the 5th of November, about the gunpowder plot of why we celebrate and let off fireworks on the 5th of November. So the gunpowder plot, as it was called, was the name given to conspiracy to blow up the Houses of Parliament on the 5th of November, 1605. Uh, the plot was actually discovered the night before on the 4th, uh, but in, into the morning of the 5th. Uh, the origin of the plot remain unclear, and it's doubtful the truth will ever be known as to why this plot actually took place in the first place. Obviously, during this time in England and across Europe, there was much upheaval between Protestants and Catholics. So the main idea behind the plot people think was to basically uh, re-establish Catholicism back into the UK, take out the Protestant leaders, or maybe just to overthrow King James I. I don't think we'll actually ever know. What we do know is that Guy Fawkes was made the Fall Guy, uh, which I think is actually where we get the term Fall Guy from. Uh, the main guys involved in this centered around the plot, centered around five main conspirators, Robert Gatsby, Thomas Winter, Thomas Percy, John Wright and Guy, Gadio Fawkes, later joined by Robert Keyes. There were also seven other known accomplices <clears throat> who were determined to blow up the House of Lords, as it was back then, in 1605. The detonation was to take place on a state opening day, when the King, Lords, Commons would all be present at the Lords Chamber. There is no doubt that Fawkes, though remembered wrongly as the principal conspirator, was in fact a minor cog in the wheel. Born in 1570 at York, Yorkshire boy, he was brought up as a Protestant. In 1593, he enlisted as a mercenary in the Spanish army in the Netherlands. He became a Catholic shortly before that date. I believe actually that had something to do with his mother remarrying after the death of his father as well, um, because his stepfather was a Catholic, um, which wasn't really allowed in England at the time. Uh, he was at the capture of Calais in 1595, where he apparently distinguished himself greatly. He may have been chosen for his skills when it was planned to tunnel under the house, and it was an advantage that having been abroad for some time, he was not known in London. So, how was the plot discovered then? Well, the official version uh, is through an anonymous letter sent to Lorne Montague, a Catholic, warning him not to attend the state opening. Now, whether the letter was genuine or a forgery, it's still uncertain. At any event, on the 4th of November, an initial search was made of Parliament. Uh, initially, it said that Montague and Lord Chamberlain of Suffolk um, didn't attend there, and the cellar was fully searched at midnight, and Fawkes was found with gunpowder and arrested. So what happened to Guy Fawkes and the other conspirators? Well, all the conspirators, except for Thomas Winter's brother, Robert, were killed or arrested by the 12th of November, uh, 1605, and, taken to, uh, and the rest were taken to the Tower of London. They were probably subjected to extensive torture, which formed part of the punishment for treason at the time. Fawkes and the conspirators, who remained alive, were tried for high treason in Westminster Hall on the 27th of January, 1606 and were all convicted and sentenced to death. The executions took place on the 30th and 31st of January. Fawkes was executed lastly on the 31st. He was put up as the main conspirator to all, for all to see. <laughs> now, their executions included being hung, drawn and quartered. The heads and other portions of the conspirators' bodies were set up at different points all around Westminster and London. So, as you can see there, there's a, a signature um, from uh, Guy Fawkes, uh, which was taken after he confessed, and a signature to compare to uh, how his normal signature was, so you can imagine the kind of torture that he had been through. So, how is the gunpowder pot remembered then? Well, as I said, it is remembered on the 5th of November, uh, either called Fireworks Night, Bonfire Night, or Guy Fawkes Day. Uh, an Act of Parliament was passed by James I uh, on the 5th of November, 
each year as a day of thanksgiving for the joyful day of deliverance from the evil scourge that tried to destroy Parliament. Now, this actually uh, stayed as enforcement as an actual act where it had to be celebrated until 1859, but the custom obviously still remains in Britain. On or around the 5th, fireworks are let off, children make guys, um, you get a penny for the guy, effigies supposedly of Guy Fawkes who are thrown on the bonfire, uh, and uh, events are held all around towns, in back gardens and at fairs. So, interesting facts then for you about this that still actually happen today because of this. So, not only do we celebrate this, but the Houses of Parliament are still searched before state openings. Uh, as a more of a ritual, basically, uh, the Yeoman of the Guard searches before any state opening, uh, the cellars and any other parts of the building for gunpowder, in case Guy Fawkes has come back. Now, this is not um, an official act as such, uh, like a counter-terrorist thing. They do actually have, obviously, inc proper uh, methods in place to stop counter-terrorism. This is just something that's been passed on as a pastime for the yeoman to do. Now, unfortunately, the cellar where Guy Fawkes tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament doesn't exist anymore. Uh, that fire in that, that building uh, was burnt down in 1834. Uh, it was devastated the medieval Houses of Parliament at the time, which is where, obviously, this plot took place. Uh, now, the lantern that Guy Fawkes carried in 1605 is in the Ashmolder Museum in Oxford. So if you're interested in this, you want to find out a bit more information about Gatsby and everybody, then uh, you can go on to the Living Heritage websites and find about the gunpowder plot. Now, mentioning Gatsby, he was sort of the main conspirator. Everyone remembers Guy Fawkes, but Robert Gatsby was the main conspirator. And a bit of an interesting fact, Kit Harrington, yes, Kit Harrington, actually plays Robert Gatsby in Gunpowder, which was released in 2017. It's great. You should go watch it. Um, that is not the weird thing. The weird thing is that he is actually a descendant of Robert Gatsby. That's right. I didn't know this until I was doing the research for this. But there you go. Uh, he's an actual descendant of Robert Gatsby. So Kit Harrington, hey, you know, things are getting a bit weird now, mate. We could probably do with you guys back again. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Conspiracy Covered. Uh, I've been Dave Elsie, a.k.a. Mischief. Um, like I said, my next upcoming full episodes are going to be on um, Ernest Alexanderson, on kind of David Fravor and the Nimitz incident, and on various conspiracies and other things that are about. So, I hope you've learned something. Uh, I definitely learned something while doing some research into this. And um, it's fascinating. We still celebrate the fact that Parliament did not get blown up. I'm sure a lot of us would be celebrating the other way around. But, um, hey, that's enough of that. From me, Dave Elsie, I'll see you next time. Peace.